Hi, and uh, welcome to another video for podcast. We're doing more Feynman diagrams here. We've already done a couple of uh, podcasts on Feynman diagrams, so uh, this is probably not the one to start with. You need to go back and uh, pick up the one for beta decay. Uh, just a quick quest, uh, point about the paper. Some of my students have seen these, and they were a bit disappointed about the speed with which I was destroying paper. All I can say is I get my paper out of the recycling bin, and uh, it will go back in the recycling bin. So hopefully this is as low impact as it can be. We've got three more famous diagrams to look at. Uh, the next one, fairly straightforward, we're going to do beta plus decay or positron emission. In this process, a proton turns into a neutron. And you're probably going to get the idea that all the Feynman diagrams are in your course on the left hand side either a proton turns into a neutron or a neutron turns into a proton and that's consistent um, with conservation of baryon number a W plus is given off that conserves charge and then this decays into uh, a positron and in this case it's an electron neutrino that's maintaining a lepton number. Uh, we've got um, a, a, a real-world lepton and we've got an anti-lepton, so overall we haven't created uh, any leptons. Next uh, pair of Feynman diagrams is uh, sli slightly frustrating. Um, they both start with a proton interacting with an electron. Uh, and the two Feynman diagrams, even though they have the same result, have different names. Uh, and the one I'm drawing for you here is what's called electron capture. Electron capture is a, a real-world process. Um, if a, a, a nuclei is unstable, it's got too many protons com uh, compared to neutrons, it can, one of the ways it can make itself uh, more stable is rather than undergoing um, positron emission, it can capture an electron, probably in one of its own electrons from an inner shell, um, and then essentially undergo the same transformation. Because this one is called electron capture, it's something I imagine the proton instigating, the W plus uh, comes out from the proton, uh, stimulated by the presence of the electron. Again, on the left hand side of the diagram, a proton turns into a neutron. The W plus um, and the electron effectively annihilate each other and the only thing to come out is the electron neutrino which is uh, necessary to conserve lepton number. The next proton process, it starts in exactly the same way, is a proton-electron collision. Now the difference here is this, this event is um, stimulated by the electron which decays giving out a W- minus conserving charge and a electron neutrino and then coming out here is our neutron again. So it's really just words that separate uh, these two diagrams. The actual uh, inputs and outputs are the same. I've done quite a lot of research and I'm, I'm fairly confident I've got these uh, the correct way around in terms of the, the labelling this being electron capture, this being an electron proton collision. But I have actually seen them labelled both way rounds in diff different textbooks. Okay, thank you very much.